Yeah, hey, deck screw hater. Ugh, how you like that? <laughs> yeah, that was only one sixteenth of a one hundredth cubit tenth from your heart or two millimeters from your heart. Hey, guys, how do you like my you do voodoo doll? I was just having friend, uh, a little opening and, and uh, having a little fun with my friend deck screw hater and metric hater, huh? Anyway. Yeah, this episode is messed up. This is about messed up. So, it's about as messed up as that title you saw. It's like, you're all thinking, what kind of clickbait was that? Well, guess what? Only the best from me. So, before we get way out in the weeds, believe me, we're going to get way out in the weeds today. I need you to give me a like below. It's okay if you like it. You can be anonymous. We all got them things about us. Um, but get that out of the way. Subscribe if you haven't, because you ain't going to get this nowhere else. I mean, the quality of work I do makes up for the rest of this. And besides that, you, you think this is humorous. You don't, not this kind of humorous, just regular humor, humorous. Anyway, let's start off with the matchbook of the episode. Sticking with the theme, messed up. I'm going to need my pointer for this one here. The, ep the matchbook of the episode is Harry Ruprick Meets. Harry Ruprick Meets out of Saginaw, Michigan. Who sang that song? Anyway, Harry Ruprick Meets. What's messed up about that? <laughs> Everything. Okay, you see that guy up there? No, no, not Pops and Fresh. Santa. Ruprick is the anti-Santa. So when I was a little kid, they would tell you, they wouldn't just tell you, hey, Santa's not coming this year. You know, you got that all year. But when they really want to throw the heavy cards on the table, yeah, Ruprick is coming. Ruprick is the anti-Santa. And what he does is not only does he come and takes your gifts, he takes you. He takes you completely away. So you're over there. You don't know what's happened. And you know what? He does look hairy. So Harry Ruprick, you making the connection here yet? Anyway. These kids disappear. No one knows where they went. Well, hey, we just found out, didn't we? Harry Ruprick meet. How messed up is that? I don't even want that. Yeah, don't worry about it. You're going to be safe. You just be good all year round, not just before Christmas. Anyway, we've been dealing with messed up guitars you remember the Mississippi Junk Pile? Remember this one? Remember I took it, it was a six string, and it kind of was, it was laying in a, a pile of a mess in a sun-baked window of a guitar shop somewhere, and it didn't have nothing on it, and we made this out of it, made a four string out of it. Then we went ahead and did the, where's my pointer when I need, oh yeah, right here. We made the Texas junk pile. It come out looking and sounding great. So we've been taking messed up guitars and we took a diversion away from cigar boxes and coffee cans and license plates. Don't you worry, I'll be right back to that in a little bit. But we're kind of out in the weeds here on these junky guitars and saving them. And uh, guess what? I think I messed up the Mississippi junk pile. I think I should have made it into a six train. But it's not too late. So let's tear it apart right in front of your very eyes and we'll fix it. And we'll make it better than it was. I, well, it wasn't very much, so that won't take much. Let's get to the bench. All right, guys, before we get started, let's have a final look. We got to do some uh, messing up up there because this has got to go. That's where the minus 61 come from because where the tuner holes are is right there. And we don't need turtle head and tuners. You saw that episode, right? Hey, there's a link right up there right about now. But you got to remember that this stuff is bigger than the stuff we normally work on. But our bench didn't get bigger, so we got to set it up right. You don't want to scratch this stuff up any more than you need to or it's beat up already. So we got this piece of carpet. Sorry, they were out of Chick Flick Teal. It's on back order. 
my my channel has made that color world famous trust me so anyway you want to make sure everything is padded you don't want to set an arch top on wood or or this stuff so get everything padded now get a couple of uh i just put they i think they sell these at the chick flick store you don't have to be seen in there they're open at night and you go in there and then you buy some a bag of beans and um you just put them in there and you got a few of these laying around and they fit the curves of the guitar and then you always have a couple of rags around you can put over the top of your wood like this and you want to be in a mood where you're nice and patient so you got some bob ross around maybe there's a little imaginary tree right there or something and then you can use some uh some of this like smell oil look at that vix vitro hall oh well this is way before mento eucalypti anyway do not covet the world's smallest vix bottle ain't that pretty cobalt blue yeah anyway you get yourself all set up so you're not going to beat up your guitar now let's lay the patient on the surgery table all right the first thing we're going to do is get everything ready by using some seasoning out of our chick flick teal pepper whatever it is bam all right let's get this custom guitar strap off of here yeah i don't know if i ever told you about this but you just make an endless loop and you fold it in half knot it up and then you run this through the top back through like this underneath here then when you run it through like this whatever you adjust it it'll stay there like this you can slip it halfway around it'll do the angle on your neck but we're getting way out in the weeds here so we'll get this off and then we are going to pull the strings off and um no sense you watching that so i'll get that done all right then we're going to get our eli green hoodoo voodoo bead off of there you know who Eli Green is? Well, I'm going to give you a, a link up there to a video so you can hear him. The guy was pretty creepy anyway. We're going to set that aside. We don't want nothing. I wonder if that will fix and fit in the world's smallest. Oh, look at that. I think I'll just put that right there for safekeeping. Get it menthol eucalyptalized. Okay, I think everything would have been real good had I not blacked in this part of the head where it says 61 on this badge um i've told you before but i get these badges from michael breedlove at mgb guitars and um where these tuners would be is right there so it wouldn't have worked so we're gonna pop this off of here and hopefully it won't mess up everything oh look at that it's ruined that means i'm gonna have to take all this stuff off and that right there would not have worked out for me anyway so i'm gonna pop these tuners off see you in a minute all right now you want to remember when you're taking these parts apart you got all these little screws and stuff i just happen to have this edison gold molded records echo all over the world dang it oh look it's fur lined or something i hope that's fur anyway you're going to throw all the parts in there and keep them nice. And I'll uh, see you in a minute. Alrighty then, the tuners are off. And you can see that this had other tuners on it at one point and I filled all those holes in. And I even filled in where the holes were for the old tuners. Now, the new tuners are not going to fit. I kept the other two out of the pack of six so we're good to go but now i need to drive these out you remember i use a little bit of hide glue because i don't want to pop i don't want to do anything in case i want to come back and fix it and for all you know i did this all on purpose because i'm such a mastermind now in the interest of saving time i have two drills and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drill down through the middle of these plugs so I can see on the other side of the guitar where I want to beat on these to knock those pins out. So let's turn the patient over. 
There we go. And that's where I'm going to beat on that right there. Yeah, I'm going to go around with this razor now and cut around these ferrules to get these popped loose like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull off the truss rod cover, which I can do right now. Oh, those are chick flick teeled. I got to keep those separated. Ooh, you want to know what's under there? I got to get Geraldo Rivera over here and find out if it's Al Capone safe or whatever it is. Yeah, there we go. Let's put that over there. Anyway, I'm going to pop these off now. All right, get ready to cry because we are going to take this razor and we are going to completely mess up this headstock. Don't worry. I got a digital file. Let me do this again. See in a minute. I, I don't want you to be in trauma over this. Alrighty then, that's good enough. I will think I'll sand that a little bit, but we're not going to waste your life doing that. Now, using the very intricate technology of brute force, we will just drive these out of here. Alright, there we go. Clean one owner. Look at that. Nice and clean. Like them holes had always been there. Well, because they had. Let's see what we did to the back. Look at that. Nice and clean. There we go. We're ready to put new tuners in. Okay, while we're here, let's have a learning moment. When you order tuners, people get confused like, how do I know which one's right and which left? When you order, order by looking at the back, not the front, the back. Now, if you were to put this one on here upside down, that wouldn't work, right? Come on, be serious. But that little hole right there is for lubrication. The gear is up here. It turns this way. So we're going to put this one here. This part goes up right here. So now I'm kind of looking at this. neck's a little bit angled funny. So I'm going to take a look. I'm going to leave those Chick Flick Teal plugs there. And I'm just going to drill. It, it doesn't take too deep. I don't want to go all the way through. So I'm just going to use my thumb. See how I used my thumb there as a depth guide? That's probably good enough, like so. And then the other one is here. Get the bag open. Maybe I'll rip it open. And these production costs on these videos are killing me. But anyway, we're going to take a look at it. You only drill these holes once, so... Make sure where you where they want. Again, the chuck will come down to about my thumb. And I know that's it. And that's it. And we're ready to put new tuners on and ferrules. Now, if there's any holes sticking out that I don't want to see, I'll fill those up while we're back here. So check me out. I have a couple of these ready to go because these Mississippi theme guitars seem to be okay now there's a nut right here already so I'm going to take this down right to the edge there make sure that's nice and straight and I did a, a couple of videos on graphics and all that kind of thing I want Holly Springs to be right in the middle there and the state lines up here anyway I'm going to center this up and I'm going to um, use some of my Earl Lube Paste. Come on, Bubba. Yeah, Earl Lube Paste. And I'm going to put that on here. And then I'm going to put this on, let it dry. And then I'm going to do a couple of top coats before I try and cut this off. Because if I start to cut this off now, it's going to turn into a mess. I did a, an episode called Graphics. There's a link up there. You want to check that out. But anyway, I'm going to put this on here. And then we'll go and do what we do, put the ferrules back in, and put the tuners back in. Everything will be good to go. All right, I wasn't going to do this to you, but I'm going to have to. You coveters out there are going to be hating life here in a minute. Um, I swear, this is probably the best thing you've ever seen on this channel. We're going to embed something in here. I, don't forget, I'm going to take some of these bacon-flavored toothpicks and make sure that those holes get covered up here. But we're going to take 
a Forstner bit and we're going to put something right there. All right, there we go. It is on. Make sure we've got the hole set for that truss rod cover. Yeah, there we go. Now we're just going to let this dry a little bit, put another coat on it, poke the tuner holes through, and then carve it out. And then I got that special surprise right there. All right, we're getting close now. We're wrapping up, but uh, got a little quiz for you. Have you ever heard the saying, dumber than a box of rocks? Well, we're fixing to see how y'all do in that area. Look at this. It is a box of rocks. But there's wood in the box of rocks, so this is not a relative analogy. Now, what if I told you that this box came from Wisconsin? You notice the accent. That is how you say Wisconsin. Trust me. But you see this wood in here. What if I told you this came from Wisconsin? I already told you that. What if I told you it came from Grafton, Wisconsin? What's in Grafton, Wisconsin? Well, you might want to sit down in your chair and try to, you know what, get your phone out, start Googling Grafton, Wisconsin chair, okay? What if I told you I took a piece of this wood here and I cut a plug out of it like this? See that? You know, I put relics in wood, and then what if I told you that there was one hole left on the Mississippi junk pile that we didn't fill? Like, namely, let's do this correctly, that hole right there. And let's say I took a plug like this one, not this one, but that one, and I put it in there with some hide glue. And then I taped the edges so I could come along with my file and go like this. Oh, by the way, I would hate to scratch this or anything because, yeah, it's already a junk pile. And then anyway, I took this off of here like so. Got any idea where that's from yet? Why don't you all let me know? Because I certainly don't think you're... Dumber than a box of rocks, right? Right? All right, let's have a look. We have everything back the way it was supposed to be. It's got six tuners. Again, remember that little hint I gave you when you're ordering tuners, you look at the back. So sometimes uh, headstocks have all the tuners on one side, typically uh, this side. So you would order rights, uh, even though it appears to be left when you look at the front. So. We chick flick tealed all that so we know that uh, it's there. And of course, Tammy's signature is there. And then from that episode where we saw this, we got relic wood from everybody. And we added that piece on the front. So we're doing pretty good here. Um, let's look at the front. Now you remember, I took off the 61 Highway badge because it was in the way of the tuners. I'll save that for another project. 61 Highway is a a theme for a lot of songs about Mississippi but that was in the way up here so I had to take and put something else up here now this is no joke this is an actual token from Mississippi State Penitentiary at Parchment and if you do any blues history you're gonna find out that this place was uh, familiar to some of these guys that did the early blues for us and it was a terrible place and no joke the games that were going on in the south politically about forcing people to work i don't want to go way off the tracks here but bad nothing to laugh about and every time i see that it, it it's sobering and saddening and if you really want to understand this there's a a book about parchman penitentiary and the farms there called Worse Than Slavery, Slavery, Worse Than Slavery by David M. Oshinsky, David M. Oshinsky. So uh, if you're into history, maybe pick that one up. I'll see if I can give you a link uh, down below.
yeah there we go I got the camera angle separate but this thing is done now and let's plug it in and see how it sounds all right for as bad as I play that doesn't sound too bad um, looking back I got into three strings and then four strings and I think my hang up on going to six strings when you go to six strings there's a whole nother world of people out there and they got your worst nightmare somebody named a luthier and the tolerances get less and less and the prices get less and less when the tolerances are less and less but anyway we're making stuff that is kind of unique and um, there's a fine line between something called folk art that hangs on the wall and the instrument that somebody picks up and plays and that's kind of what I'm after. Um, I learn a lot along the way. I've been fortunate to meet artists and we'll try to get this thing in somebody's hands that can actually play it. Um, now before I head out of this episode, oh I want to remind you, give this Earl Lube Pay stuff a try. Um, it actually makes stuff stick like headstocks and and that kind of stuff and the maps that are on the back and it is a little bit flexible so stuff doesn't get stiff and crack and peel and stuff like that um, also um, I give you a lot of history here and uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that again um, I give you books, links to books and stuff. I try to give you that stuff below and, and pick up on this. This music we listen to, it was made with a lot of pain and a lot of suffering and a lot of sacrifice from people. And, um, you know, I want to remind you all that we come to this earth, each of us, with a special talent. I'm still trying to find mine, but uh, there's something unique about us and we're here uh, to share that unique gift with other people and when we go out on the street every day and look around try to look for that gift in other people don't try to compare yourself to them and somehow sort yourself up the food chain somehow by playing the game some people play just remember we're all here for a reason and the guy upstairs he doesn't think any one of us is more valuable than the other and if you follow that advice remember Ruprik yeah it's getting on Christmas and you don't want him around. So, you know, I'll try to find somebody who can play this thing. We'll shoot an episode with it and I will see you next time. I got a lot more stuff like this coming your way. See ya.